Hi, welcome to Making Waves. My name is Michael, and today we're going to use a tool called an oscilloscope to view sound waves. We're going to be using a free online oscilloscope that works on most browsers such as Chrome and Safari. Let's go ahead and get started. To get started, click the link on the drop-down icon in the video. You can also find the link in the video description or pause the video and copy it from here. The word oscilloscope comes from the words oscillate, or to move back and forth, and scope, which means to see. When we make a sound by talking, our vocal cords vibrate, which in turn create sound waves that travel through the air. When the sound waves reach the microphone on the computer, they cause a part inside of the microphone to vibrate that converts the sound waves into electrical signals that the computer can understand. A virtual oscilloscope displays these electrical signals as a wavy line on the screen. The virtual oscilloscope has some controls on the right side of the screen. We'll go through these from top to bottom. The first is the input selector. This should be set to live input. The next is a checkbox to freeze live input. When you're making a sound and you check the box, the wave will freeze on the screen like so. Try humming or whistling and then click the freeze live input box. The next control is the oscilloscope gain. This controls how sensitive the oscilloscope is to the microphone. Uncheck the freeze live input box and try moving the oscilloscope gain slider back and forth while you are humming or whistling and see what happens. If you are too loud, the waves will get clipped or chopped off so that they look squared off on the top or bottom. If this happens, you can reduce the gain or move further away from the microphone. Be aware, on some computers, if you keep whistling a steady note, the wave on the virtual oscilloscope might start getting smaller and eventually disappear. This is because some computers have a feature to automatically get rid of background noise and thinks that's what your whistling is. Generally, you can turn this feature off, but it is different on different brands. The last four controls, seconds division, volts division, horizontal offset, and vertical offset, are mostly used for making detailed measurements with the oscilloscope. They aren't that important for right now, but we'll show you what they do. First, let's hum or whistle a sound and freeze it on the screen with a checkbox. The seconds division control lets you zoom in and out of the wave in the horizontal direction. Currently, I have it set to one millisecond. If I choose a larger number, like five milliseconds, you will see the wave peaks packed much closer together. If I go ahead and choose a smaller number, like 200 microseconds, the wave will appear much smoother, with the peaks being more spaced out. Let's go ahead and put it back to 1 milliseconds. The volts division control lets you zoom in and out in the vertical direction. Currently, I have it set to 5 volts, but if I change it to a larger number like 10 volts, you will see the wave get shorter in the vertical axis. If I choose a smaller number like 2 volts, the wave will grow longer in the vertical axis. Finally, we have horizontal and vertical offset. Horizontal offset shifts the waves left and right, while vertical offset shifts the waves up and down. Now that you know what all the different tools do, feel free to experiment with the oscilloscope and use it to view some different sounds. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.